As long as you're happy with you, that's all that matters. People's opinion, just background noise. <sighs> How deep is your love? Literally. Okay, so, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Crystal. I just wanted to come up here and talk about a little, touch a little bit on the subject of how to regain confidence because it's something that we all, I feel like, struggle with. It doesn't matter your age, what gender, what sexuality you are, but this is especially for women because I feel like with, as women, we struggle a lot with our image and I'm just gonna go over a little bit of what helped me to regain confidence in me. I would start with taking care of yourself. So for example, taking care of yourself can be like taking yourself to get your nails done. Ignore my nails, my nails are outgrown. I actually have an appointment for tomorrow, but like get your hair done, get your hair cut. Anything that will help you look and feel better about yourself. Like I said, I signed up to the gym. I gym is like therapy if you go to the gym you literally sweat and release so much stress that you hold inside of you so like try signing if you don't have the funds to sign up for a gym take a walk to the park take a walk by the beach it really doesn't matter go hiking in nature that helps a lot as well second thing would be let go of the idea of perfectionist like there is no such thing there is no such thing as perfect. There is no such thing. Let me tell you that. Recently, this happened. So I went to visit my grandparents in our pueblo. My grandpa hasn't seen me in a while. And he was like, oh my God, he saw me. He was like, you're way too skinny. You need to eat more. So yeah, for Mexicans in our pueblo, I guess I'm too skinny. And I'm just like a skeleton to them. Here in America, being skinny is good i guess but like just don't let that even bother you or affect you like if people think you're too skinny then as long as you're happy with you that's all that matters if people think you're too fat it doesn't matter are you happy with you with your body that's all that matters i've seen big girls and they're freaking beautiful what matters most is your confidence you being you knowing who you are, knowing your self-worth. I've seen big girls actually like walking with the hottest guys like by the beach and like they, they're so confident. They're wearing like a two-piece and like I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Like I freaking love it. Like I'm just like inside, I'm screaming and I'm like, yes, boo. Like I freaking love your confidence. Beside her, like she has a dude with a six pack like super built and I'm just like damn boo like she was able to get that I'm sorry she was able to get that because of her confidence because of the image she lets out and people are supposed to like it's supposed to return to you like if you treat yourself with love and respect people are going to return that to you there's no such thing as too skinny too fat too ugly too pretty there's no such thing like as long as you're happy with you that's all that matters people's opinion just background noise okay like right now there's a lot of background noise and i apologize for that fake it till you make it fake it till you make it this comes firsthand for me so for a long, 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 long time, I kept replaying in my head. I'm insecure, I'm shy, I'm socially awkward, da 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 So what did I do? Of course, like my mind kept repeating all these things. Of course, that, that's what I believed and I let it out. Like I would walk around with my head like out in public. I would walk with my head down like this. Why? Because I felt insignificant, like I was worthless. And imagine the image i was giving out like this poor girl is like walking around with her head down like just imagine the image i was letting out like so but what i mean by faking it till you make it like start carrying yourself with with love carry yourself with self-worth know you are that bomb ass little bitch and I'm sorry, I do cuss because that's how I, 
I'm done with like faking this little image of who I'm not like this is who I am okay and in two years that can probably change in two months that can probably change but like fake it till you make it start carrying yourself with love start carrying yourself with confidence and the best way to do that is look into the mirror and just like you would notice that like your posture is probably like this and like just look into the mirror and fix your posture like whatever it is you don't like fix it look into the mirror and say tell yourself like wow you're so beautiful you i love you just start saying nice things to yourself fake it till you make it like yeah you look into the mirror and you're like oh no i'm hella ugly but like start faking it like damn i'm that bomb ass b and then sure enough that's what you're going to you're going to program your mind to start thinking like that and that's exactly what you will reflect and another thing is focus on positive thoughts this kind of goes back to the mirror thing focus on positive thoughts positive beliefs stop focusing too much on what you cannot and start focusing on the things that you can don't dwell on the on the things that you can't do like let it go accept it either accept it or work towards getting better at it stop replaying negative memories stop replaying that i'm so ugly i'm so skinny i'm insecure that was literally what i had playing in here for the longest i'm insecure i'm insecure i'm insecure and what like i let all that out like whenever i was out i was always like oh my god i'm insecure oh my god like really like I went on like that for way too long and I'm um, that's the beauty of now that like there's oh, I feel like a lot of girls are learning their self-worth and that makes me so happy I just don't see a point of women degrade degrading other women I see no point in that like when I see a woman being so successful I'm like yes bitch you get it bitch but I just see no point of being envious in other women. Oh my god. <sighs> see, like this this type of things get to me like a lot. Like when other women are envious of other women, like, oh who does that bitch think she is? She hella ugly and like whatnot. But honestly, like just let those people be because it speaks more of them than it does of you. So if there's people that don't like you, like just brush it off. Like honey i didn't even know you existed and you're talking about me like what that's that's that happens to me a lot of times i'm just like wait who i'm like oh i don't even know her but yet she's over here like full of anger while i'm over here like chill af you know like i see no point of that so like embrace other women start like complimenting women like oh my god i love that shirt oh my god i love your lipstick oh god like just anything also don't forget by loving yourself you can start reading to expand your mind start reading because you love yourself start reading personal development book self-growth self-love start reading books that like just really help you push you to another level go to a bookstore i was literally broke i had a hundred dollars i had that was the last hundred dollar bill i had what did i do i went to the bookstore and i purchased four new books that i literally started reading I, i'm gonna have them listed down below because i can't think of them from the top of my head also listen to a lot of podcasts i started listening to terry seville boy that's how i got into this whole like self-love like because back then i was so tough on myself like ah i always do everything wrong like oh like of course this would happen to me but like you know just really change your mentality start accepting yourself start working on yourself love yourself you better make have a good bond with yourself because you have to be with you forever like you can go walk away from your boyfriend if you're pissed off at him 
you're pissed off at your best friend you can just walk away and you don't get to deal with a bitch but you you can't walk away from you so you better start making friends with yourself you better start accepting yourself you better be more gentle with yourself take care of yourself love yourself and that is it that's all my message i hope this helped you guys